Hi, this is Shadi. So recently, Kron Gracie came back to the UFC after years of a hiatus and he lost uh, due to decision. And now everyone is saying that Gracie Jiu Jitsu is outdated and also it is no longer 1993. And now at the top level, it is completely different. So we're going to decipher those claims bit by bit and also look at the historical Gracie footage and see what they did themselves and see if Crone is truly a reflection of what Gracie Jiu Jitsu is when it comes to competition. So he lost by decision. So that's, that's the first. And it's good that at least he didn't get knocked out or tapped out. But here you can see that he is pulling guard and uh, at the highest level here when it comes to mixed martial arts, which, which is the UFC. Um, personally, I would say that's a big no. So historically, even back in his competitive days in Jiu Jitsu, he pulled guard. Now, granted, in Jiu Jitsu, if you want to pull guard, you want to play the game, you want to really go through those tactics and strategies, then that's fine. But MMA is a completely different realm. It does have Jiu Jitsu, but it is not, you know, it does not require only Jiu Jitsu. You need so many elements, you know, getting the the clinch and also having good striking. Now he has great stamina and he is a reflection a little bit of the Diaz training, but when it comes to his stand up, i.e. grappling, it is just absolutely not there. And personally, I agree with a lot of people what they said. So here you see he is doing that old classic kick and coming close and clinching and going for a takedown. However, um, here is an old classic Gracie footage where Horion Gracie is explaining it. Basically, this is for self-defense, but of course they can work in MMA. So it blocks the knee, that kick, and also it startles your opponent for that microsecond that you need in order to get close. You get an upper body clinch. It can be either over the arms or under the arms. And then from there, you have so many options. Uh, people say he needs to wrestle. Not necessarily. There is, you know, the old judo takedowns. It's not, you don't, you don't have to separate the arts. Judo has the two, which is the ground game, the classical ground game, and also the upper body clinch and the takedowns. It's not, you know, wrestling and jujitsu. You know, jujitsu, judo, whatever you want to call it. It has all the elements. You just need to really explore the different expressions of that very vast art. Now, here you see Horion is doing it, but Krohn was very much, you know, in grappling wise, was not existent standing up and he had to pull guard. Let's take a look at his father. You know, he's known for being undefeated. He's known for his pressure. And not once did he pull guard. He would just absolutely pressure his opponents, collapse them, even perform takedowns. Now, I'm not saying he has to do very sophisticated things like here the Kosoto Gake and the Kouchigari are more than enough and then he just absolutely rains punches on them until they just turn their back from him because of the pressure and then finishes them off with a rear naked choke here is another outer reap or an inner reap and just uses the very basics because the basics will always work. Just take a look at the UFC statistics when it comes to the finishing moves and it's these things takedown wise and also submission wise. To say that Gracie outdated, Gracie Jiu Jitsu is outdated, I disagree because they have all those basics honed in. However, in my opinion, it is simply Krohn who is a bit of a, an anomaly when it comes to the old school Gracie Jiu Jitsu because his grappling stand up or stand up grappling is just not there. It's not a reflection of his father's MMA skills and his father's strategy. It is completely different. Um, it's a reflection of what the Diaz brothers are doing and that's where exactly where he's training. But uh, when it comes to Gracie Jiu Jitsu in and of itself, it's not a complete reflection and that's simply it you just have to look through the old footage you know his father his grandfather also here carlos gracie 
doing an inner reap and then going on top. Now, no guard pull in sight. And that's what separates old generation Gracie from Chrome. But when it comes to the new stuff that they are teaching, like for example, Henner or uh, Heron, it's mostly a lot of it is on the ground, how to prevent ground and pound. And the stuff that they are teaching in the stand up, it's a lot of disengage and run away, which I understand because self-defense, this is what you need to do. It's not a fight where it is in a controlled environment. And of course, there is a the legal a dimension of street fights. It's not on the mats or in the ring. You always have to take care of that. However, when it comes to the stand-up grappling, it's safe to say that it is not up to par with what's happening in the UFC today or any grappling art like wrestling or judo. But um, that's basically my take on this whole thing. Uh, in a way, it is a bit different than the old Gracie Jiu-Jitsu of the past. For example, here you see Elio doing all sorts of, I would say, sophisticated takedowns. He fought in uh, judo fights uh, in his youth and also uh, did the ground thing. For example, in his fight against Kato, he actually was taken down and from there he took advantage of the guard. But he did not pull guard himself. When it came to the Kimura fight, same thing. He was taken down. He tried to take advantage of the guard. But of course, if you've seen it, Kimura was the wisest. So, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, is it outdated uh, on the, in the UFC platform? I would say maybe because their focus is simply not for that their their focus is a lot of self defense and a lot of ground grappling which is fine and hence which would explain a little bit crone's you know guard pulling and being very good with the basics so it's a very gracie thing but in the stand up the gracie focus more on self defense drills pushing disengaging clinching and then going away but not so much on sophisticated things that deal with high level competition like the UFC uh, which brings me to this picture that everyone shares around, you know, November every year. And personally, I think it's one of the most absurd thing that you can claim. That's like saying all the fights that the Japanese masters did when they came to the West or their students when they fought against boxing, wrestling, savat, whatever it may be, and they won. But, and also you have the Valley Tudo that was taped on TV against capoeira and all these other uh, disciplines none of it matters and none of it happened until us as a human species we reached until 1993 to understand what martial art truly works it's truly the most absurd picture i have ever seen so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening